okay now fourth phrase i'm going to write and that is leaves no step had trodden black leaves no steps had trodden black okay so its answer i'm going to write what does this phrase mean both the roads were covered so both the roads were covered with yellowish leaves yellowish leaves which had not which had not been crushed which had not been crushed under the feet of the travelers the feet of the travelers therefore the leaves were not blackened so the color of uh, leaves were not black all right because less number of people used it okay it could represent a path uh, uh, one may have never or seldom take in life for the fear of uncertainty okay so this is phrase fourth all right now fifth phrase i'm going to write and that is how way leads on to way all right how way leads on to way means how one way leads to another it means so all right so its answer i'm writing here the poet was quite aware the poet was quite aware quite aware that one path often led to another path that one path led to another path okay the poet was aware all right about that that one path if we take one path it leads us to many all right so next i am writing this answer only this it was not completed okay full stop the next line this meant this meant how certain decision this is d d e c i s i o n decision we make in life we make in life could pave pave means build could pave the way for many other for many other decisions all right okay so 
so this is phrase number 5 okay this is d all right now next third question we are going to do okay so in it we are given two uh, situations so that i am writing here okay i think this is clear the video is not coming give me one minute all right so just let me adjust okay now it's clear okay third question is there any difference is there any difference between the two roads between the two roads as the poet describes as the poet describes them so first situation that is given in stanzas 2 and 3 in stanzas 2 and 3 all right okay so its answer in stanza 2 and 3 how he has described so this we will write here all right so its answer i'm writing In stanzas two and three of the poem, the poet had to make the poet had to make a suitable choice had to make a suitable choice between the two roads between the two roads both the roads were covered both the roads were covered with yellow leaves with yellow leaves both the roads both the roads seemed seemed equally good seemed equally good and fair to him fair to him but one road looked more grassy more grassy if uh, any road will look more grassy it means what that less number of people have used that way or that road okay more grassy than the other than the other all right full stop now second situation that is given in the last two lines of the poem so very deep message we are getting from these two lines in the last two lines of the poem okay so this we will write about it the poet could take so being one tra traveler so this is very understood that the poet will take one road only okay one uh, you know one way one path only could take only one road so he decided so he decided to take the road which seemed 
less travels by less traveled by all right it was more grassy it was more grassy because very few travelers very few travelers had walked had walked along walked along that road okay his choice his choice made his choice made all the differences all the differences to his journey all right so this is fifth uh, this is a second situation i have written okay thank you so much for watching remaining question answers uh, we will do i'll uh, just upload the next video for remaining question answers all, all right so meanwhile just uh, complete these question answers in your notebook and learn them thank you so much for watching